Howdy and welcome to the Laptop Empire Show. My name is Mike Yonda and today I want to talk to you about Facebook's campaign budget optimization feature. Now here's the thing though, it's not going to be a feature anymore in that you're not going to be able to choose whether to use it or not. In September, which is like a week away or might already have happened if you're watching this video later, this campaign budget optimization feature, which we call CBO, is going to be permanent. It's going to be mandatory. You won't be able to toggle it on and off anymore. And this is going to create a fundamental shift in how we use Facebook ads. Because right now, as of today, you can use this feature. It's been out since November of 2017. But most people are still using the original you know, budget optimization inside of the ad set level of your campaigns. But now that's changing. It's going to the campaign level. It's going to change how, how we do everything and the structure of how we create ads campaigns. So today we're going to go into it. I'm going to talk to you about what campaign budget optimization is. I'm going to like show you how to use it. We're going to dive into ads manager. I'm going to walk you through CBO so you can see what it looks like. And we're going to talk about some really important, you know, considerations that you need to keep in mind when you're running it to make sure that you get the best results possible and that you're actually getting results, getting, you know, affordable lead costs, affordable results from your campaigns. And you're not just overspending and giving a bunch of your money to Zucks over there at Facebook. So let's hop into it. See you on the other side. All right, it's time to talk about campaign budget optimization, also known as CBO. And I'm probably going to say that the rest of the time because I keep stumbling over the full word. So we're going to be talking about CBO. But before we get into it, if you, this is a little bit advanced, you need to know it to run Facebook ads from September 2019 onward. But if you're not quite there yet, you're not comfortable, I have a couple of resources I want to point you to. The first one is I want you to check out this video about the basics of Ads Manager. All right, it's gonna get you started. You're gonna feel comfortable when you go inside of Ads Manager. Check out this video. Then you're gonna come over here. You can check out Business Manager. If you wanna know more about Business Manager, how to set it up in 10 minutes or less, this is the video for you. And then if you're feeling squirrely and you really wanna have a good knowledge, you wanna impress your friends at dinner or whatever, I'm kidding, nobody's impressed by Facebook ads. But if you wanna know, you know what is real and you wanna debunk some of those myths that are really common when it comes to Facebook ads and all the gurus are spouting even though they're wrong, check out this one, debunking Facebook ads myths. Great video, it's gonna help you out. Those three things are gonna put you on the right track, help you just really increase your knowledge of Facebook ads and then you can take this one about campaign budget optimization and you're gonna do really well, you're gonna be able to get great results with your ads. So what is CBO and how does it work, right? This can be really confusing if you haven't been following along or you haven't used it before. But the big thing that you need to know is that currently you are setting the budget for your campaigns inside of Ads Manager and Facebook is now moving that decision to the campaign level. So when you are trying to create your campaign, you're going to choose your objective, the type of camp, which is the type of campaign that you're going to run and how the algorithm is going to optimize, but you're also going to choose the budget. And what that means is that the ad sets inside of your campaign, Facebook is now going to make decisions about how it distributes that budget. It's not going to be an even split. So if you have a $100 per day budget and you have five ad sets, you're not going to end up spending $20 per day on each of those ad sets. Facebook is going to do everything that it can to optimize and get you the best results by putting more budget on certain ads, uh, ad sets and less budget on others. It's very similar to how it is currently where if you put multiple ads, different creative and things like that inside of a single ad set, Facebook will determine which ads to display the most and to give the most budget to. It's the same concept, all right? And this is really important because if you're not aware of this and you're not being careful with it, you're gonna find out that Facebook's gonna make these decisions for you and if you're not careful, you might actually not get the best results possible. But if you use it correctly, you're gonna get even better results because like with most things with Facebook ads, Ads, you get better results when you just trust Facebook and you let the algorithm do the heavy lifting. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because we're going to talk about these important considerations. And these are the things that you need to be aware of and that you need to do to make sure that you get great results with CBO instead of getting mediocre ones because you're not using it properly. All right. Instead of just talking about how the CBO actually works, I want to actually show you. And so right now you should be seeing an image on your screen. I'm going to pull it up. And this is actually actually a, a uh, 
illustration that Facebook created when they first released campaign budget optimization to kind of explain the process to you. Okay. So here on the left, what you see is what happens without campaign budget optimization. This is what it currently is. And that's where you set the budget at the ad set level. So if you have a $30 per day budget, you would put $10 on ad set one, ad set two, ad set three. And these ad sets are probably going to be, you know, different types of targeting that you're going to use, right? You're going to have different interests that you're targeting or lookalikes, whatever it may be. All right. But you're putting $10 on each and you can see you get a total of 10 conversions. The one, the first ad set got three, the next ad set over got five, and then the last one got two. So very different cost per conversion there. All right. In theory, and this is really how it works, as long as you take advantage of these considerations, I'm going to tell you in a little bit, when you switch to campaign budget optimization and you just put that $30 budget in the campaign and then let Facebook just figure out how to distribute it across the three ad sets, Facebook is going to notice that this second ad set is actually converting at a much cheaper rate and they're going to spend more money there. So you can see if ad set one only did three and ad set uh, three only did two conversions. Well, we only, it only ended up spending $5 on ad set three and seven on ad set one. And it put $18 of the budget toward ad set two. And this resulted in, you know, 150% of the conversions. Instead of 10 conversions, you got 15, you got a, a significant amount more. Your total cost per conversion is much less. You're a lot happier with the results you're getting. Okay. And so this is what Facebook is trying to do um, by using campaign budget optimization. So as you can see, when you're using campaign budget optimization properly, you're actually going to get a much more affordable conversion because you're going to get more conversions for the same budget by leveraging the power of the algorithm and letting Facebook make those decisions for you. So that's a great thing. Obviously, the, the cheaper we can make our conversions, the more affordable we make our ads, the better the results we're going to get in our business or whatever it is that we're promoting. And at the end of the day, that's what we want because that's how we can scale. So let's go inside Ads Manager for a second. And let me show you what this looks like in practice, what buttons and toggles you need to push to get these results. All right, so here we are inside of Ads Manager, and I wanna show you how this whole campaign budget thing looks and compare it to the old way just very quickly. So if you go to this green Create button here on the left, uh, it's gonna pull up Ads Manager. It's gonna look like this. Uh, traffic campaign is totally fine. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is, you can see here is the toggle. Currently, you can turn it off and on. We'll go back to that in a second. But I want you to see inside of the ad set level, where if you scroll down, there's your demographics, your targeting, your placements, and then down here, you're choosing your optimization and your cost. You're setting your budget here. Remember, it's how much money that ad set is going to spend, and each individual ad set has its own budget. But the way it's going to change, if we go back to the campaign level, is you're going to choose the type of campaign, and then you're going to have the budget here at the bottom, and you're going to set your budget. All right. You're going to set your campaign strategy, how this is going to work. You can do the daily lifetime budget, however you want to do it. And then when you do this, every single ad set that's turned on inside of this campaign is going to get a different amount of the budget. It's going to get split up based on Facebook's judgment and what they think is the best way to get you the best results, just like the image that you saw a few moments ago. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like from then on. And then when you continue in back into the ad set, Here's the same demographics. Here's the same placements. There's your targeting, but you'll notice there is a budget schedule and stuff like this. But my guess is a lot of this is going to go away. This part is either going to go into the campaign or you might still get to decide, you know, how you're going to, um, how it is that you're going to optimize where this is still inside of ads manager, at least right now, but there's a good chance that this could be in the campaign level as well. But if not, if it's still here, it's all good. You can set a start and end date. Um, you can run your ads continuously. Do you want link clicks, landing page views, daily reach? You can set your optimization for delivery, just like you always did. Right? So that's what it's going to look like inside of ads manager. Let's talk about a couple of considerations that you need to keep in mind to get the best possible results when you're doing this. Now, when you're using campaign budget optimization, there's three or four things that you need to keep in mind and really make sure that you're doing correctly. That way the algorithm can do the heavy lifting for you and get you the best results possible. The first big one that you need to be aware of is that when you set your campaign budget, you need to make sure there's enough money in that budget to get 
a minimum divided amongst those ad sets. Facebook's going to figure out how to distribute it, but you really want to try and figure it out so that you have about $15 worth of budget per ad set that's inside of that campaign. So if you're going to be testing four ad sets inside of your campaign and you want to have that distribution of about $15 each, that means you need to have a $60 daily budget in your campaign. That's what's going to, what it's going to take to get you the best results possible. Now, obviously, obviously this varies based on the niche and everything that you're doing, the industry, but to play it safe, $15 per day is going to help ensure that Facebook's getting enough data. They're spending enough money getting enough data in the forms of impressions and clicks and conversions to actually have the algorithm get you good results. If you're not getting enough data in because you're not spending enough money, your ads are going to tank. They're just not going to perform very well. So consider $10 per ad set to be your absolute floor and make $15 per ad set your minimum if you want to get better results. The next thing that you need to consider is that you don't want to have too many ad sets inside of your campaign. The more you put in there, the more difficult it's going to be and you might overwhelm things. All right. So a really good example of this is in the way it's currently done. If you put too many different creatives, like too many ads inside of your ad set, Facebook starts arbitrarily choosing which ad is the best performer. It doesn't actually distribute enough money to some of the different creatives to actually be able to tell if this image or this copy actually performs better than the other. It kind of very early on picks one and says, nope, this is the winner and ends up spending all the money on it. You don't get a true split test. Now, it works a little bit better than that with the campaign budget optimization, but if you still have too many ad sets, you're going to overwhelm it and it's not going to perform as well. It Obviously, it has a better chance of doing handling more at higher budgets, but when you're do, do, when you're doing a regular budget, like a normal minimum kind of budget, you really want to make sure that you don't have more than five ad sets in there at a time. And so if I'm testing something, you know, I might go $100 per day on the budget with five ad sets in there. I'm getting about $20 per ad set, which is more than that recommended minimum, but I know that it's going to get us good results and find us the best, the absolute best possible uh, ad set to be spending the budget on. So the next thing that you need to be careful about is mixing your warm audiences and your cold audiences. And when I say warm audiences, I'm specifically talking about your custom audiences, either people that have watched videos, have joined your email list, they've visited a specific website, maybe they're the people that have purchased or abandoned cart, whatever it may be. You know, you want to keep those warm audiences separate from your cold audiences. Now, your cold audience is going to be your lookalike audience based on a custom audience, or it's going to be the interests that you choose. It's okay to mix those together because those are going to be bigger audiences and Facebook tends to get better results with bigger audiences. But when you start mixing the warm audiences and the cold audiences in the same campaign, you might not get the best result possible. And the reason for that is because Facebook's looking for the cheapest conversion and they don't actually know the real difference between the audiences. So if you've got a couple of interests and then maybe you have a lookalike audience and then you have this one audience of buyers and you're trying to drive traffic to an ad to get somebody to buy a different product, Facebook's not going to realize that your audience of former buyers or your audience of people that had abandoned cart or your email list it's not going to realize that those might actually be higher quality audiences and they're going to cost more because they're smaller audiences and it's going to be a higher CPM. It's going to cost more money to reach those audiences, but they might actually purchase at a higher rate. So when you mix those together, they're not going to get much traffic because Facebook is just looking at how much it costs to reach the audience and get it to convert. And it, it might end up being cheaper in their eyes to go with the cold audiences. So if you want to, try targeting your list, your buyers, your website visitors, your video viewers, or anything like that, it's probably a good idea to separate that out. Have a campaign for your warm audiences, have a campaign for your cold audiences, keep them separate. That way Facebook doesn't get confused.
Now you'll notice I've really been talking about audiences for the ad sets because that's the big thing that you're doing here is you're testing out different audiences and what's going to perform better. So one of the things that you're going to want to do when you're choosing, say your five ad sets that you're trying to test is put different audiences in each one. And you can put a whole bunch of them together if you want, but I think it's better if you actually split them out and see which of the audiences that are similar end up performing best. A really great example of this is I'm working with a client right now where we're trying to sell his, you know, online fitness program, right? It's a, it's a diet program and he's talking about, you know, all these different fitness and diet plans that don't actually work, but this will work for you. And so when we were doing the targeting with CBO, we actually split it out based on a bunch of different programs that are available for sale to the general public. So we did things like Weight Watchers, Slimming World, things of that nature that people are going to go, uh, uh, Jenny Craig, that kind of stuff, right? So we did four or five of those type things as individual audiences. When we put them all together and a single audience, I think we ended up with about 4.2 million people or something like that in the audience. But when we split them out individually, each one had somewhere between two and three and a half million people, which is a great audience size. And what the reason that it barely went up from three and a half to 4 million when you put them all together is because there was a lot of overlap, but there is some difference as well. And surprisingly, when we started doing that and we had, you know, all the, the Weight Watchers, the Jenny Craig, the, the, uh, Slimming World, you know, all of these, uh, the Beach Body, like we had all these things set up, even though they were very similar audiences and you think they would all be the same. We actually had some that, that converted at a much higher cost, some at a much lower cost and some that were about the same. So Facebook was able to see that and start putting all of the budget into the best audience that we had. And then we were able to start testing new ads against our winning audience. Okay. So that can work really incredibly well, split out your audiences inside of those ad sets for the best results possible. So that's it. That's everything you really need to know right now about campaign budget optimization. Remember these CBO changes, they go into effect in September. So if you're watching this right now, when the video goes live, they're not out yet, but they're coming very soon. And this, this change is going to happen in the next couple of weeks. If you're watching this down the road, it's already happened. You're trying to figure it out. This is the stuff you need to know. Okay. So make sure watch this video again, make sure you understand how it works. If you've got questions, just let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer your questions for you, whether that's figuring out how you should split up your ad sets. You know, you weren't sure, Hey, I'm thinking about doing this budget. Maybe I have a smaller budget. You know, I want to go with this. What should I do? Whatever questions you have about CBO or setting up these campaigns, let me know below. Also, be sure to check out all of the video tutorials that we've put in the description of this video. I already mentioned a couple of them previously in this video and you saw the images and you can go watch those, but we have a lot of basic tutorials on how to create effective Facebook ads. So if you're just getting started out and you're trying to figure out the CBO thing and you want to dive deeper, we have plenty of resources for you. And then last but not least, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you never miss an episode. Turn on those notifications. It's really important so that you know when new videos are coming out. We're doing a lot of Facebook videos over the next couple of weeks because of these CBO changes and the things that are going to come out. There's going to be new things. We're going to find new tips and tricks. I want to make sure and share those with y'all so you can get the best campaign results possible and take advantage when everybody's struggling with this. And so their costs are higher. You're going to be using it correctly and be able to get lower costs and kind of take advantage of this period by being an early adopter and get much more affordable result results. So subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, new episodes come out every Tuesday. All right. So we'll see you there. And once again, if you got any questions, let me know. Appreciate you watching the show. See you next week.